Absolutely. So the PN40 or the PN60 device from Delorme is an excellent platform for field data collection. It's simple, intuitive, and rather easy to use. It's also a pretty common device, which means that your field users probably have one at home, especially if they're a hunter or a backpacker or something like that. So these types of devices are very common and easy to use. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take the information that we have displayed on this map and we're going to send it to the device. So I'm just going to connect the device to the computer and then I'm going to go to push to device. You notice it automatically detected it. What this is going to do is let me choose the type of features that I want to collect. In this case, I'm only going to select a valve inspection. I'm going to click next. This prepares the data and next one more time to synchronize the device with it. Now I can remove the device from the computer. After a few moments, the uh, GPX device will, will reload and I'll be able to select this device. I'll be able to select this file from a list of files that are presented to me. In this case, valve inspection. When I open it, I'm presented with a list of valves near me. Now one advantage to this is these valves are actually sorted in location order. So I can simply scroll to the one nearest me, or in this case, this is the valve number of the valve that I know I'm inspecting. I can review information about it, or more importantly, I can go and edit this and actually do the inspection. So in this case, I'm going to select that the valve was partially operated and that it's in good condition. After selecting this, I can save the information back to the file on the device. This keeps the information if I were to shut it off or go do more inspections later. Now, I'm going to reconnect this device to the computer. After I connect it to the computer, I'll be able to go back to my laptop or my desktop computer back in the office and say, get from device. Again, it automatically detected it, and it's going to allow me to synchronize this information. Now, from the map, we'll see a green dot here indicating the information that I have collected. This information is sorted so that I can see the information that I've changed. So in this case, my inspection attributes are here. It was partially operated, yes, and valve condition is set to good. Now, let's submit this to the server. Once the upload is complete, it's now sitting on the server and waiting for a subject matter expert to approve it. In this case, I'm going to go to feature approval, where I see that my valve inspection is listed. Again, I can sort it, and I can view the attributes that are changed. As a subject matter expert, I agree that these are probably correct, so I accept this information. Now again, this information is sent to the server, where a new alignment sheet is generated and sent out to the field personnel.